Vice Chancellor Myers, the commencement is assembled. Good afternoon. Welcome to the 2021 Spring Commencement Ceremony for Delgado Community College. I am Cheryl Myers, Vice Chancellor for Academic and Student Affairs and College Provost. The MACE carrier is Ms. Amy Buckle, faculty member in Science and Mathematics and Faculty Senate Vice President. We are extremely proud of our candidates for graduation and wish to congratulate them for their outstanding work. During today's ceremony, we ask that members of the audience please remain silent so that all have the opportunity to hear the presentations. In keeping with local and state guidelines related to the COVID-19 pandemic, all graduates and guests must keep their masks on at all times during this ceremony. Would you please rise as we begin today's program with Mr. Jack Wagesback leading us with the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for the national anthem performed by Ms. Authorine Sherman, followed by the invocation. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose bright stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, or the efforts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare. As we gather on this grand day, understand that we come from different places, hold different values, and cherish different beliefs. Yet today we are united in gratitude. 
In a world where many cannot study, we are thankful for the achievements, degrees, and honors that we celebrate today. In a world where many have no community, we are thankful for the support of mentors, teachers, family, and friends. As we go on from this grand day on different paths, different experiences, and different destinies, may our gratitude unite us in, in a desire of using all that we are and all that we have for the common good so that reasons to be thankful will, will fill every life. It is now my honor to present Dr. Larissa littleton Stibe, Chancellor of Delgado Community College. You may be seated. Good afternoon, candidates. It is so wonderful to celebrate you in this way. We have overcome so much and to be here in this room today is just simply amazing. And you deserve a round of applause. Thank you, Ms. Sherman, for that very moving rendition of the National Anthem. And Mr. Wagaspat for that inspiring invocation. Distinguished platform guests, faculty, staff, families, and friends of the candidates and candidates. Welcome to our spring 2021 commencement exercise. On this occasion, we are here as family to celebrate the accomplishments of our candidates, to honor our faculty and staff, and to thank our community. I would like to continue today's ceremonies by recognizing our platform party. Please hold your applause until everyone has been introduced. In the second row, beginning at my left, are Mr. Jack Wagaspat, incoming SGA President, City Park Campus, Ms. Corinne Thornton, Acting President of Alumni Association, Dr. Tamika Duplessis, Associate Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs and Executive Dean of Sydney Collier, Mr. Harold Gaspard, Associate Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs and Dean of Allied Health. Beginning from my left in the first row are Dr. Cheryl Myers, Vice Chancellor for Academic and Student Affairs and College Provost, Congressman Troy Carter, Representative for Louisiana's 2nd Congressional District. Ms. Amy Buckle, Faculty Senate Vice President. I would also like to recognize the academic leadership in attendance for today's ceremony. To my left in the press box area are Dr. Peter Cho, Executive Dean, West Bank Campus, and Dean of Business and Technology. Mr. Timothy Stam, Dean of Library Services. Thank you. I now have the honor of inviting Congressman Troy Carter, representative for Louisiana's 2nd Congressional District, to the podium as today's commencement speaker. Troy A. Carter is the youngest of six children. He was educated in the Orleans Parish Public School System and matriculated at Xavier University, earning a Bachelor's of Arts in Political Science and Business Administration, and holds a Master's Degree in Business Management from the University of Holy Cross. Troy Carter also studied at Carnegie Mellon Mellon's Graduate School of Urban and Public Affairs in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and served as an adjunct instructor of political science at Xavier University of Louisiana. He was awarded a Green Foundation Fellow to Harvard University, John F. Kennedy School of Government's program for senior executives in state and local government. In 2015, Troy Carter was elected the first African American to be elected and sworn in as Senator for District 7 of Louisiana. Since being elected, 
He was the chairman of the Labor and Industrial Relations Committee. He was a member of Commerce, U Judiciary C, Revenue and Fiscal Affairs, Coastal Restoration and Flood Control, Homeland Security, Military and Veterans Affairs Committees, and is the former chairman of the Senate Democratic Caucus. Troy is also the former chairman of the Algiers Development District. He was most recently elected as a delegate to the 2016 Democrat National Convention held in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Also, he was chosen to participate in the State Legislative Leaders Foundation out of hundreds of applicants. This was held at the University of Virginia Darden School of Business. On April 24, 2021, Troy Carter was elected to the United States Congress as representative for District 2 of Louisiana. Congressman Carter serves on the Transportation and Infrastructure and Small Business Committees. Congressman Carter is married to Brigadier General Anna Navarro Carter with the United States Army, and he is the proud father of Troy II and Joshua Carter. Troy II and Joshua are both students at historically black universities. Troy II is a student at Xavier University of Louisiana, and Joshua is a student at Harvard University. Welcome, Congressman Carter. Thank you very much. I looked at the uh, I looked at the program and I saw that bio. I said, "You got to cut that in half. That's going to be larger than my speech." So we kind of quickly went through a pen and and uh, wiped some of that stuff out. So I'm sure you don't want to hear about all that. But thank you very much for that very kind introduction, and a huge thank you to your incredible chancellor, Dr. Stive, who is an incredible, incredible leader, one that we're all very proud of in this community. I'm so very proud of, of her staff, the faculty, leadership of this great institution. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> to God be the glory for the things that he has done. You didn't get here today by accident. This was not just happenstance. Somewhere, somewhere along the line, you developed a passion for learning. And when you develop that passion, you will never cease to grow. Anthony J. D'Angelo said that far better than I could. The beautiful thing about learning is no one can ever take it away from you. B.B. King said it far better than I could. Wisdom is not a product of schooling, but of the lifelong attempt to acquire it. Albert Einstein said that. You see, we can go on and on and talk about the things that others have said and others have done, because today is your day, a very special day, a day of accomplishment, a day of success, a day of new beginnings. As you close one chapter, you go into another. But you don't go unprepared, because this place, this incredible institution with incredible people have prepared you for the next steps. Graduating is a great achievement. You should all be proud of the dedication and commitment that took you to this point. Delgado graduates are uniquely equipped with job preparedness skills to join the workforce from day one. For instance, just this week, I was proud to announce that Delgado was nationally recognized as one of the first community colleges to be federally designated as a center of excellence for domestic maritime workforce training and education. Your school, the school that you're graduating from, the world knows you're, you're here. The world knows the excellence that Delgado stands for. You should stick your chest out with pride. You should look at your leadership and thank them for giving this institution the energy, the success, and the credibility that you will forevermore, as graduates, be able to brag about. One of the core values of Delgado is lifelong learning and pursuit of knowledge. The beauty of education is that learning truly is a lifetime experience. We're all given opportunities to learn, grow, and evolve through our lifetimes, through our pursuit of knowledge. 
Your learning won't stop here today. In fact, if done right, it won't ever stop. You can become anything you want to through your continued education. You can forge new paths and start new careers. I will tell you, oftentimes speakers come and they speak at graduation and they tell the young, aspiring, energized, fired up graduates all the good stuff about themselves. And you see us as finished products. And oftentimes we forget to tell you about our failures. So I'm gonna tell you about mine. My mother and father divorced when I was very young. My mother raised six of us by herself. She went back to school. She got an undergraduate degree and later a master's. She spent the next 40 years in the classroom teaching. We were not wealthy by any stretch, as you might imagine, but we weren't poor. Not emotionally, anyway. Not mentally, anyway. Sure, we didn't have all the things that many of my friends had. We didn't have a silver spoon, sometimes it was plastic. But my mother made sure that we understood the importance of getting a good education, giving back, loving, preparing, and never, ever, ever letting anyone tell us that we were less than anyone else. So lest anybody get it confused, this is not about me bragging, this is about me telling you my beginnings that were very, very humble, my beginnings that were very, very challenging, my beginnings that some would have suggested would be doomed to have me become another of a statistic that unfortunately far too many of us fall prey to. So a part of that is overcoming those obstacles, not letting being poor and black coming from a single family household be an obstacle. It was just yet a set of cards I was dealt a set of cards my mother was dealt, a set of cards my siblings were dealt. You got to play the hand you're dealt, regardless of what they look like. Success is imminent if you stay in the game. Success is imminent if you do not allow anyone to define who you are. So I went on, graduated from O'Perry Walker, senior high school on the West Bank, West Bank proud. I heard a oob somewhere, all right. All right, don't be shy, we're West Bank strong. I went on to Xavier University, went on to, as you had a whole bunch of other academic accolades and very proud of the degrees earned, um, but they weren't easy. Uh, there were struggles, there were difficulties, but none of which ever even came close to the challenge my mother had to overcome. I went to school, I was single. I didn't have any children. When I ate, the whole family was fed. I put my shoes on, everybody was walking in style. But my mother did it with six of us. And somehow she kept us fed, she kept shoes on our feet. So I don't know what your individual burdens are. I suspect we all have our own. But know this, none of them, not single one of them is insurmountable. You are at the apex, just keep climbing. Your opportunities are incredible. Keep climbing. And oh, by the way, to whom much is given, much is required. So as you climb, remember that old reach back part. You've got a responsibility to reach back and help someone else. Because in my neighborhood, it wasn't always easy, but we always had the responsibility. My mother always said, the only time you should ever look down on another person is when you're reaching to pull them up. Because God never got around to making anybody any better than anybody else. See, God made one race of people. We fools made all the rest. God made a human race. You gotta learn to love what God made, whatever it is. However you are today, God intended you to be that way. Perfect what he's given. Don't hide your talents. Multiply your talents. And you do that by not just taking care of yourselves, but by taking care of each other. I went on to pursue my professional career, and I started working for the mayor of New Orleans. I was so 
young and green and happy just to be doing what I wanted to do. I later ran for the House of Representatives, got elected, was one of the youngest members of the legislature, decided I wanted to be in local government, so I left the legislature, ran for the city council, won that race too, spent eight years on the city council preparing for what I believed at that time was what God wanted me to do, and more importantly, in my mind anyway, nothing is more important than what God wants, but in my mind was I wanted to be mayor of New Orleans. And I prepared my whole life for that opportunity. But in 2002, I lost. I lost the race that I prepared my whole life for, to be mayor of New Orleans. And I lost on a grand stage while the world watched. Gut punch, painful. I had to stop, recalibrate, readjust but I didn't quit. Two years later, I ran for the United States Congress. Guess what? I lost. Another sucker punch, gut to the, punch to the gut. Had to readjust, had to recalibrate. Guess what? Two years later, I ran for Congress again, and I lost. I sat out for a few years after that, figured I was going to spend time with my family, raise my boys, enjoy my wife, run my business. Came back and I ran for the state senate. Overwhelmingly won. Got reelected to the senate. Serve as the senate minority leader, chairman of the Senate Democratic Caucus. And just last month, I ran for United States Congress again, but this time I won. I say these things not to say, look at me, I'm Superman, how great I am, because it's not. I'm just a regular guy that happens to be blessed, just like you. No better, no worse. A man that understands the power of prayer. A man that understands that God can do something with nothing. A man that's offered himself to be a vessel and grateful that God has used me to do so. A man that tells you that we fail often. We don't always get it right. No one has a patent on being right or wrong. The mistakes that you've made, like strokes on a piece of paper, can be erased. Don't ever let anybody tell you because you did this or you did that or you came from here, you came from there, you don't have this, you don't have that, that you can't be what you want to be. It ain't true. Failures are merely steps towards success. But you've got to believe it. You've got to believe it and you've got to know in your heart that God didn't make any failures. God didn't make any failures. You're all successful. And you all have the responsibility to go out and touch somebody else. To touch them to tell your stories. Don't just tell them how you got that tassel. Don't tell them how, just how you got that sheepskin. Don't just tell them how you got that beautiful cap and gown. Don't just tell them how you made it through. Tell them how you failed too. Because if we don't share how we failed, people think we're special. People think we did it because we're just all that. People think we did it because we have something they don't. You've got to tell them we did it because we didn't quit because we didn't believe that what somebody said somewhere a long time ago, and they said, maybe it was a guidance counselor. Maybe it was an old, mean aunt. Maybe it was the guy down the block who said, you ain't gonna amount to nothing. You can't do it. You're not smart enough. You're not pretty enough. You don't have enough money. You didn't come from the part, right part of town. I want you to ignore all of them and remember that one voice out there that said, yes, you can. I want you to remember the one who said, yes, you can, and this is just the beginning. Enjoy it, suck it up. Inside of these, and I say these, I mean the halls of Delgado, you had access to some of the best and brightest, most caring individuals ever. They care about you, we care about you. We need you to be successful because the next class is depending on you. 
proud, 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 successful graduates. Stick your chest out. Be proud. Give love. Love each other, care for each other. Be successful and always remember this institution. When you make some money, and even before you do, send a little alumni check back. Show that you recognize the power of this institution and the love of these individual people. Give love. Love each other. Love the institution. Love the environment. Love the people. As I close, I want to just say a few things as I exit. The famous actor Denzel Washington once said, you will never see a U-Haul following a hearst. Why not? Because material things cannot be taken to the grave. But your contributions to society, our envir environment, our humanity, now that will last. To whom much is given, much is required. Do great things, give back, love hard, help others, and enjoy the hell out of this wonderful life that Delgado has helped you build. I will leave you with three things as I take my seat. In life, give more than you take. Love more than you've been loved. And finally, leave this world better than you found it. God bless you. Congratulations. Congressman Carter, thank you for those wonderful words. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to be with us today. And thank you for those little nuggets. Failure is only steps to your success. Sitting there, I was able to take away quite a few of those little nuggets that were given to you. As a matter of fact, they are for all of us in this room. With that, I would like to ask Mr. Jack Wagaspak to make a presentation to Congressman Carter at this time. Thank you. We now come to the awarding of certificates and conferring of associate degrees. Please note that some Delgado Community College candidates are wearing scarves similar to the academic hoods worn by faculty. Those wearing scarves with a green stripe are honor candidates who have maintained a grade point average of at least 3.5 on all college work. I would ask those candidates to please rise and be recognized at this time. Those wearing scarves with green and gold stripes are Delgado Chancellor's Honors candidates who have maintained a grade point average of at least 3.8 on all college work. Please rise. I would ask that the following groups rise as I announce them also. Candidates of Delgado Community College's Honors Program are wearing medallions. Students who are members of Phi Theta Kappa, the National Honor Society for Community and Junior Colleges, are wearing gold stoles. Students who are members of Alpha Beta Gamma, the National Business Honor Society for Community Colleges, are wearing blue stoles. The students wearing apricot cords are members of Sigma Alpha Chi, the Honor Society of Nursing. Students who are members of Mu Alpha Theta, the math club, are wearing blue and gold stoles. Members of the Honor Society for Performance and Media Arts majors, Sigma Chi Eta, are wearing gold cords and a Sigma Chi Eta pin. Student Government Association senators and executive board members are wearing white stoles. Dual enrollment students who are graduating with a certificate of technical studies are wearing purple stoles. The National Society of Leadership and Success members are wearing black and white cords or a white stole with Greek letters Sigma Alpha Pi. 
Will the candidates for associate degrees and certificates from Delgado Community College please rise? It's everybody. That's everybody. Stand up. <laughs> there you go. Chancellor Steib, the faculty has approved these candidates of Delgado Community College for the respective degrees and certificates. It gives me great pleasure to present them to you and to request that you confer upon them the appropriate degrees and certificates. On the recommendation of the faculty and with the authority vested in me by the Board of Supervisors for the Louisiana Community and Technical College System, I hereby confer upon each of you the respective degrees and certificates following with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto appertaining to scholars everywhere. Congratulations. You may be seated. Graduates, as directed by the marshals in charge, you will come to the platform to receive your degrees and certificates. Mr. Christopher Lamarck, professor of theater, will announce the names of the candidates for graduation. You may remove your mask to walk across the stage Please replace the mask upon exiting the stage. Mary Alice Acosta. Diane Marcella Cardoso Adams. Sarah Nicole Aguilera. Carla Catrice Alexander. Cannon Boyd Arnold, an honor graduate and a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Danielle Marie Biamonti. Alexis Bankhead, a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Brittany Lane Barber, a Chancellor's Honor Graduate and a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Shanna Lee Barrios. Melissa S. Bergeron. Darren M. Bernard. Tyra R. Bickham. Michael Anders Boudreau. Kendra T. Brady. Christopher Daniel Brannigan. Brittany Ruth Bright. Keon Renee Brooks. Melissa Rose Brooks. Kaisha Jante Brown. Michael Elos Brown. Courtney N. Bryant. 
Christina Ann Butler. Kalinda Cantu Walker. Annette Elizabeth Capdepon, a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Aisha M. Brown, a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Tina Carter, an honor graduate and a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Donna Mardicia Celestine. Rachel Santani Romagosa. Kayla Lynn Champagne. Kaylin Marianne Chin. Elena Mary Clapp, a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Heather Renee Clement. Kiera Lejean Clofer, a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Terrell Condal. Naya Rochelle Copeland. Valerie Cortez de George, a Chancellor's Honor graduate. Christian Reginald Craig Jr. Kiyoka Taranika Curtis. Lacey J. Journey, an honor graduate. Michael Joseph Demore. Kathleen Davis Hurd. Kistina S. Davis. Latoya M. Diedrich. John Elizabeth Jackson Denning, a member of the National Honor Society for Leadership Excellence. John Doe, an honor graduate and a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Brianne Rashan Dove. Kimberly Ann Dufresne, an honor graduate. Sarah Ann Dumas. Andrew Dyson. Shamara Vanessa Edwards. Marisol Estrada Alayo. Marisol Estrada Alayo. 
Elise Felix, a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Michelle Allison Flynn, a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Whitney Michelle Foster, a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Tennille Ann Fox, a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Alexander Anthony Franco. Alexander Anthony Franco, a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Gabriella Frazier. Gabriella Frazier. Jutana Michelle Frazier. Bridget, M. Uh, Bridget B. Freelo. Rosa Elena Galvez. Rosa Elena Galvez. Gabrielle Alethea Gaston. Gabrielle Alethea Gaston a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society and a Chancellor's Honor Graduate. Jaden Alexandria George. Jaden Alexandria George. Paris Olivia George. Paris Olivia George, an Honor Graduate. Kimberly Ann Gibson, a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Tawana Washington Gibson, a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Nicolette Payne Goins. Nicolette Payne Goins, a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Guthrie. Candace Joy Guthrie. Jacob, no, 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 Jacob Gutierrez. Jacob Gutierrez. Kyron D'Angelo Hargrove, a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. You want the middle initial? Okay, give me uh, Juanita Heim. Juanita Heim. Lorianne Danielle Henry. Lorianne Danielle Henry. Nanette Elois Herford. Nanette Elois Herford. Emily Ann Higgins. Devin Devante Hill. Siobhan A. Hill. Siobhan A. Hill. Jalen Shade Hills. Jalen Shade Hills. Wintane. Asia Zakia Hunter. Jasmine Alisa Hunter. Jasmine Alisa Hunter. Hutchison. Brittany Michelle Hutchison, a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society and a Chancellor's Honor Graduate. Rian Jackson. Tia L. Jefferson. Tia Jefferson. <laughs> Lauren Alexander Jenkins. Faith Johnson. Caressa Lindrell Jones. Caressa Lindrell Jones. Whitney Jones. Simone Marie Joseph. Christina Marie Jr. 
Eric Joseph Keating, a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society and an honor graduate. Amy Lynn Keaton. Carolina. Carolina Sue Keen. Terrian Renee Kendrick. Erica M. King. Lexi Nicole Landry. Kristen Lanier. Kristen Lanier, a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Nija Chanel Lee. Rashawn Lewis. Shavana Monique Lewis. Akila G. Looper. Oprah O. Lowe. Lumsey. Lumsey. Dan Lumsey. Dion Malik McGee. Dion Malik McGee. Van Chin Mong. Van Chin Mong. Ashley Melissa Manzer. Sharon A. Shante Martin. McElveen. Jeremy Terrence McElveen. Eduardo A. Melgar. Eduardo A. Melgar. Macy Mendoza, an honor graduate and a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Jordan Ray Metcalf, a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Donna Marie Miller. Shaniqua Charmaine Mingo. Shaniqua Charmaine Mingo. Javona M. Minor, an honor graduate and a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Eva Trudy Mitchell. Eva Trudy Mitchell. Dewana Monet Monroe. Ebony Jalisa Addison Montgomery, a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Veronica Patrice Montgomery. Von Schilla and Moore, a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Lashante Sherelle Muttley. Stacy Marie Myers. Geraldine Nichols. Priscilla Osorio Vindel. Priscilla Osorio Vindel. Arlie Pacheco Menar, a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. 
Miles Pagson, an honor graduate and a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Isalina Paulino Brito. Abigail J. Payne, a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Javel Joshua Pierre, an honor graduate. Macy M. Pierre. Zunari Porsche. Zunari Porsche. Taylor Dominique Powell. Taylor Dominique Powell. Anil Ryan Prasad. Anil Ryan Prasad. Joani Ramirez Valdez. I love that. Tatiana, Lola, Tatiana Lola. Lola Randolph. Eileen Rivas. Eileen Rivas, an honor graduate. Eunice Rivera. Eunice Rivera. Rolandis Rashawn Robertson, Sr. Koshavan K. Robertson. <laughs> Kenneth John Rogers. Gabriel Colton Rosendo. Gabriel Colton Rosendo, a Chancellor's Honor Graduate. Mariana Sampson. Mariana Sampson. Christina Marie Sansoni. Christina Marie Sansoni. Sasha Sardinetta, an honor graduate. Savoy. Brittany Savoy. Darielle Rayan Andre Scott. Darielle Rayan Andre Scott. Julia Faye Scott. Kimberly Marshall Sharp, a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Brittany N. Silcio. Brittany N. Silcio. Shalita LaShawn Simeon. Shalita LaShawn Simeon. Shavonda Marie Singleton. Shavonda Marie Singleton. Jennifer Serkia. Precious Brianne Slaughter. Precious Brianne Slaughter. Dawn Labarriere Smith. Dawn Labarriere Smith. Summer Diane Sneed. Atia Mohammed Spencer. Spires. Joseph Stephen Spires, a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Thank you. Hannah Elizabeth St. Jean. Hannah Elizabeth St. Jean, a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society and an honor graduate. Melissa Ann Stevenson. Brenna Lee Stewart. Brenna Lee Stewart. Sotna Sotna Seal. 
Satna Seal. Daniel Joseph Thomas Sr. Roshanda Lynn Thompson. Roshanda Lynn Thompson. Tealquit. Maya Elizabeth Tealquit, an honor graduate. Viet Tran. Viet Tran, a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society and an honor graduate. Javon Angel Trudeau. Naya Aliska Turner. Naya Aliska Turner. Errol, Flynn. Errol Flynn Turner. Luani, Juliet, Urquilla, Castellanos. Latoya Valer. Elena Vanaiva, an honor graduate. Pauline Nock Vo. Marshall Renee Wallace. Ebene Washington. Naquel Latte Washington. Brandy Jordan White, a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Sandra Ann Wyman. Dianca Shante Williams. Erlena Williams, a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Keytron C. Williams, a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Marcavius Tyrone. Deshaun. Deshaun Williams, a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Is it John or Jean? Jean. Sharon Jean Williams. Sharon Jean Williams. Kiara Michelle Willis. Kiara Michelle Willis. Chantel Denise Young. Chantel Denise Young. Erica Danielle Young. Erica Danielle Young, a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Mandy Treyway Zhang.
graduates, please stand. We have come to my favorite part of the ceremony called the turning of the tassel. The turning of the tassel symbolizes your transition from candidate to graduate. You may now move your tassel from the right to the left. Well done. All of us at Delgado extend our congratulations to you, the spring 2021 graduates of Delgado Community College. We welcome you into the Alumni Association and invite you to become active in all alumni activities. I would like to now introduce Ms. Corinne Thornton, Acting President of the Alumni Association, who will lead us in the pledge to Delgado, which is found in your program. Delgado graduates, it is my privilege to officially induct you into the Alumni Association. Delgado graduates, please raise your right hand and read the Oath of Allegiance along with me. I, Corinne Thornton, an alumnus of Delgado Community College, do hereby pledge allegiance to the Delgado Community College Alumni Association and the great and honored institution which it represents. I promise to remain loyal, faithful, and steadfast in my support of its programs, to hold high its principles, to maintain its traditions, and to defend its honor in the community. By the power vested in me by the Delgado Community College Alumni Association, I officially grant you membership into the Delgado Community College Alumni Association. Congratulations and welcome. Best wishes. You may be seated. Thank you, Ms. Thornton. Congratulations to our graduates and best wishes for your success and all your future efforts. Consistent with our custom, I would like individuals in our audience and among the graduates who are active or on reserve duty and those who are veterans to please stand and receive a well-deserved round of applause. <laughs> Let me take this opportunity to thank Mr. Danny Lesh, Mr. Christopher Lamart, Ms. Tammy Kilbert, and the commencement committee for the planning of these exercises. I would also like to recognize the following groups of individuals who contribute to Delgado Community College in many ways. Members of the LCTCS System Board of Supervisors, members of the Delgado Community College Foundation, public servants representing state, parish, and municipal government, representatives from local colleges and universities, family members, friends, and other significant persons who supported the graduates in their quest for education alumni of Delgado Community College and members of the faculty and staff of the college. Would you please rise for the benediction. Graduates, please remain in your places until directed by the marshals. I would like to once again call upon Mr. Jack Wagaspat to give the benediction.
cancel the duck it once said. What this country needs is more free speech worth listening to. Tonight, let us learn to think, listen, and speak so that our speech will not only be worth listening to, it will move the hearts and minds and souls of those listening. We'll 